Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to be talking about stacking generalization. So in my last video, as we have discussed about voting ensembles, where, where we covered about the limitations as well. So it has a major uh, limitation that is uh, where when we use a different kind of models in voting ensemble. Uh, so there we assume that the weightage of each and every model is equal. That means we assume that the performance of each and every model in the assemble model are equal. So that means they are contributing equally for the predictions. But in real scenario that is not true. So to overcome that limitations, we are going to discuss about stacking generalization. So let us walk through it and understand what is stacking generalization and its implementation in Python. So let us start. So stacking generalization is a uh, is general term given to them stacking. So it is also an, a kind of an ensemble machine learning model where we have uh, typically two kinds of model involved in it. So first model is uh, we call it as a base model that is level one model and the second model is meta model that is level two model. So let us see in detail like what is this level one model that is base model and level two model that is what is meta model. So let us discuss the architecture. So the architecture of stacking model involves two base models often referred as level one model that is base model and level two model that is meta model. So in level one model, we generally have different kind of models that is it can be of decision tree, neural networks, any kind of linear regression model, SVM. So where we use different kind of models in level one model that is base models and those are referred as base models and we give the data to those different models. So suppose we have data and we split it into train and test. Now we give the training data to these models which we have in our this base model and we get the output as predictions. So the predictions of each and every model that is from decision tree, logistic regression, neural networks or such kind of models will produce the prediction and those prediction will be encountered in a different form of data or in tableau format and then we're going to be using that predictions in our level 2 model that is our meta model. So in this meta model we're going to be using any simple model generally referred as meta model. So there we use a simple model it could be logistic regression for classifiers it could be linear regression for regression tasks so we generally use a simple kind of models at level 2 and finally we pass this predictions which were coming from the base models to this meta model and finally we get the predictions so this is what a general intuition about this stacking is and this is what an architecture of a stacking generation is. So this is what a typical stacking generation model works. And we'll see that how it is implemented in Python and how it, it is going to help us in building a better model in terms of accuracy and predictions. So uh, as I told you in base models, that is at the level one model, we generally do a complex uh, we generally take uh, complex models. So uh, as I've covered the limitations of voting classifiers, so there we assume that the model used over there uh, in voting classifiers, we assume that those models have equal weightage and we take the predictions averaging or max voting. But here we want that models should have different kind of predictions. So in this second stage, like before going to the second stage, we, we want that model should create different kind of predictions. 
or they shouldn't the predictions of these models which are going to be predicted shouldn't be correlated with each other suppose decision tree produce some kind of predictions for a particular data set and logic regression produce some kind of predictions for the particular data set and these predictions produced by different models that is decision tree or logic regression shouldn't be much correlated but in uh, voting ensembles we were considering that the performance of each and every model that is weightage of each and every model are equal so there was a problem but here we are overcoming with that problem by as by assuming or we are by doing or by taking it by taking the different models with different kind of predictions that is all that are almost not correlated so this is what we are doing it over here and this is how we are overcoming the limitations of voting classifiers and we move these predictions that is uncorrelated predictions to the level 2 model that is uh, meta model and finally we get the prediction so this is what a stacking generalization generally uh, overcomes the problem of voting ensembles so this is what we do in stacking generalization and in terms of level 1 models we generally use very complex models and in terms of level 2 models we generally use a non complex models so this is generally preferred way to generally do a uh, stacking uh, generalization in machine learning so let us walk through the implementations of uh, stacking generalization so these are the important libraries which we're going to be using uh, for implementation of stacking and we can notice over here that i am going to import a stacking classifier function from sklearn and symbol and we're gonna be using a uh, different kind of models as a base model so we are importing logistic regression k nearest neighbor classifier decision tree classifier and svc and gaussian nb so these are the models which we're gonna be uh, assembling or, or stacking it at a base level and then we'll see uh, which model we're going to be using as in uh, level 2 model that is meta model so let us import this kind of uh, important libraries and let's just create a manual classification data set so with this function we iterate a thousand samples and 20 features and we're gonna store in our x and y variables so let's just run it so this function get underscore stacking will be a stacking function so in this function we're gonna be uh, importing or we're gonna be creating our stacking uh, model so here i am gonna be using a stacking classifier as an uh, function to create a stacking model so stacking classifier takes uh, three kind of uh, major uh, parameters that is estimators final estimator and cv so estimators is nothing but the base model so in base level model we are going to use combinations of models so in uh, combinations of model we're going to be using uh, linear regression k nearest classifier decision tree classifier svc and gaussian nb and we're gonna be uh, appending these models to the level one list so this is how we prepared the model uh, list and we just mention it over here in this estimator parameter and we have another parameter which is final un underscore estimator which specifies that which meta model you're gonna be using it so we're gonna be using logistic regression because we want that meta model should be a simple model so we're going to be using logistic regression over here so we have mentioned it as a level 2 and finally we're going to be giving that we're going to be performing a cross validation so this is what the cv parameter means so we're going to perform five cross validations over the train data set and we're going to be storing it in the variable called model so this is what a general uh, stacking function look like so we have taken all kind of models and attached in a list 
and we have taken the level two model that is meta model and and uh, stored it in a variable level two and we have mentioned it in a classifier that is stacking classifier and finally this whole function will return the model so let's just run it now so to compare the performance of uh, individual model and the uh, stacking model which we have created above over here so we're going to be making a dictionary where we'll store the performance or we'll compare the performance of each and every individual models and a stacking model so this is what uh, the whole function looks like so we're going to be uh, creating a, a empty dictionary as a model and then we're going to be importing all such models which you have mentioned above and our stacking uh, model as well so this stacking model is mentioned in our get underscore stacking function so this is what we have specified over here and we are attaching it to the dictionary and finally it will return all such kind of models which we have used above so let us run it so now we're going to be creating a different function for evaluation so we're going to be mentioning stratified k fold function over here and then we're going to be taking a cross value score where we use a different kind of models and we put the uh, training data and we measure the scoring parameters as accuracy and then we perform all such scores and we take the mean of those scores so this is what a uh, evaluate underscore model function will uh, do so it will evaluate all models and it will take uh, the data and it will train on the uh, stratify k folds and it will return, return the mean score of each and every function so this is what a uh, uh, evaluate underscore model does so let us run it now finally uh, we import our data set which we have created above as an as a function that is get underscore data set so we'll just run it and we get the models so the models which we have used over here it's uh, we have stored in a dictionary format so we are calling it from there storing it in a, a model variable and finally we're going to be creating an empty list that is results and name where we're going to be uh, appending each and every individual model performance results and its name so now we're going to be using this uh, dic dictionary which we have created that is list of models and we will iterate it over here so we'll iterate each and every model with name and we'll evaluate it uh, evaluate each and every model by using evaluate underscore model function and we call the data set as well and we'll store the uh, results of each and every model in the result uh, list and we'll store the specific name of those model so this is what the whole function it is doing so it will iterate each and every function that is mentioned in this dictionary so it will go in the logistic regression and it will perform the evaluation of the of that particular model in this result store the result in the uh, result list and it will give the name as well similarly it will go for all this kind of models and it will go into the stacking model as well which we have created above and it will uh, perform the evaluation on those models and it will return the results and store in the result list with its name so this is what this function look like and finally we'll compare the uh, performance of each and every individual model with the stacking model so this is what uh, we're going to be showing in in terms of box plot so the box plot takes all kind of results with the label names and it will and it will plot it so this is what the whole uh, cell of uh, uh, code look like so let's just run it and let's just watch how the performance of model is so as we can see the each and every individual model performance uh, can be displayed over here and you can see linear regression model is producing 86 percent accuracy and k nearest neighbor producing 93 percent accuracy similarly uh, decision tree is produce, producing 82 percent svm is 95 percent nav bias is producing 83 percent and stacking is producing 96 percent so you can see above all individual model performance 
and stacking model performance so the comparison is almost uh, done and it, it is quite visible that stacking model is performing better than all other individual model so and this can be visualized in the graph also so you can see the stacking uh, box plot is at higher level compared to the all other individual models so this is all about this video hope you enjoyed it see you next time thank you